Today's literature on corporate governance is overwhelmed by notions of E, S, and G, environmental, social, and governance matters. Environmental things like deforestation, pollution, climate change, social matters like war, uh, rights of workers in foreign factories, those kinds of things. And governance matters going from the boardroom of publicly traded companies all the way through to the government of various organizations and our own elected governments. E, S, and G, it's everywhere. So what does that actually mean for a board of directors? Because a board typically in North America, for sure, has been operating under the edict of Milton Friedman from 1970. In 1970, he said, the business of business is business. Therefore, the only person you really care about is the shareholder of your company. The purpose of a publicly traded company is to look after its shareholders. Well, ES&G kinds of opens that up to a variety of new stakeholders. To some extent, boards and management teams have always been conscious of the workers, the environment in which they are working, uh, their suppliers and their customers, as well as the communities in which they work. That's true. There is a broadening beyond simple shareholder allegiance. But now the push is much greater, and the push is coming from the large institutions that own approximately 75% of all publicly traded companies around the world. Institutions like BlackRock, 7.1 trillion in asset management, and they have something in the order of 4,500 corporations that they own shares of, often two or three percent. State Street Global Advisors, 3.1 trillion. Vanguard, the same kind of number. The top 10 institutions will own probably 40 to 50 percent of all publicly traded company shares around the world. And across all of those institutions, there'll be very few unaffected companies. Now, the institutions are getting worried about broader things than quarterly earnings. The institutions themselves are largely there to look after pension funds. Pension fund assets have to be managed in the long term. And so there's a nice convergence between thinking long term and being the owner of your company. And that's going to mean that you're going to have to take into account as a director and as a management team, you as a director are going to have to lead them to more consciousness of other stakeholder groups, E, S, and G. You're going to read more and more about this. It's going to mean more and more to your owners. And there's going to be more and more discussions between those owners and you. State Street Global Advisors, for example, now has a team of 12 people. They call them their stewardship team. 12 people who do nothing but spend their lives talking to board chairs and to senior managers about a broader definition of business success than the quarterly earnings. You as directors are going to have to shore up the management team because if you're widely held, the pressures on your company to perform quarter after quarter are enormous. And if you're not performing well quarter after quarter, another group of people called activists will come knocking on your door. This can divert a huge amount of management time and effort unless you, the board, are more responsible for the medium and long term than the pressures in the short term and the activism imply. So, being a director was never easy. It's certainly not getting easier in the COVID era. And it's certainly not getting easier with the pressures to get more involved with other E, S, and G matters. Things are getting tougher. You've got to get on the job.